They should. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> it worked! How's it going, guys? Dre here, and today we're going to war. Wooden War. We're playing Wooden Battles. This is a new strategy game similar to games like Tabs and the rest of them, except in this one, you can actually build your fort as well. So it sounds really cool. It's a very basic game. We're going to check it out today, see how good it is, and uh, yeah, have some fun with it. So we got a bunch of different things we can actually do here. We have missions, challenges. Uh, I guess we can play with the armory or sandbox. What I want to try, actually, because I've never really tried one of these in a game like this, is Wave Mode. Uh, I don't think we'll do very well, but this would be a good place to start. So here's the battlefield. Uh, the goal is simple. Either kill all of your opponents or make your way to their flag and capture it. So for this mode, it is wave after wave, and we have to hopefully hold out. Now, we can build with blocks. We got, uh, it's pretty basic. I'm gonna say that. We got three different types of blocks here. Long, medium, and small. Uh, but you don't really need much else than that. So what we're gonna do right now, let's actually get some of these cheaper blocks. Uh, you know what? No, I actually want to be quite high off the ground. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna make some sniper towers. Let's do these kind of in the corners over here. I don't know how far the snipers can shoot. So this is kind of like me testing out the units to see which ones are good and which ones I actually want to use in the real game. So we got some units over here, as you can see, the generic riflemen. We got cannons. We got snipers. We got musketoons. Close range unit, strong against non-armored infantry. And then we got a medic, a support unit that heals nearby infantry. Okay, so what I'm thinking right now, we got 4,500 to use. I want to get two snipers. That's going to be, oh, wow, I didn't realize snipers were that expensive. Hopefully they are ridiculously good. I honestly have no idea. So we're going to put those guys up on the towers over here. Now in the middle, we still have some building points. So this is our unit points. The 400 is the building points on this side. So we can put down four more blocks. And what I'm just gonna do here is, uh, let's just put like a wall so we can hide some units behind this wall. I don't, I'm not gonna build a fortress just yet. I think we get money after every wave that we successfully complete. So I think this is a good start. We got snipers and then in the front, how much do we got? 2,900. So if I got a medic, I have 2,000 left. That's quite a few riflemen. So let's try out this medic because I am curious to see how good it is. And I'm going to actually put this guy a little bit further back. And then in front of him, I want to hide him so he doesn't get shot and die. Uh, we're going to put all of our units. So let's just churn this a little bit. This guy's actually bigger than these guys as well. Hopefully I didn't put him too far back. But uh, yeah, we're actually going to be able to get quite a few units right at the start here. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I think this is actually going to be a really good setup because we got the range and we also got the defenses. All right, 200 left. Is there anything else we can do? No, let's just keep going here and expand this out a little bit. All right, so here we go. Let's let her go. We've used all of our money. Oh, crap. I forgot to put them on defensive mode, so they are going to move up. Thankfully, their walls seem to be... Uh, keeping them in place for some reason. So yes, you can either tell them to go defensive or offensive. Uh, we have everything on offensive right now. So these guys, they're actually not jumping down, but I think if they get close enough, they indeed will. First wave done though, not too bad. And that medic seemed to do his job very well. So do we actually, okay, good. We reset everything and we get our units back. So is there a way, can I sell these back? Okay, I don't think I can sell these back. So we got 400 of each uh, after that wave. Now I'm thinking, because I screwed this up so much, this is actually a good setup, though, because this block makes them stop. I didn't want them to move forward. I'm not going for the flag. I'm going for sheer firepower right now. Now, the question is, 400 really isn't that much. Do we want to save up and then try and get, like, the musketoons or something? I think the one thing I should do is at least keep my medic safe. So what I'm going to do, because the medic seems to be really important, is just put a wall in front of him. He's just going to kind of stare at the wall there, uh, do his medic duties, and then hopefully not get shot. Aside from that, I'm feeling pretty confident. So let's just try this again. I'm not going to spend my money. This might be a big risk, but I'll be able to get better units if we can survive it. And it looks like the wave's the same size as the other one, give or take a little bit. My medic's still alive, so that uh, thing is working. Oh, it actually resets new ones. Okay, so how's our snipers doing? Are they actually in range? Oh, yep, they are shooting, as you can see. Oh, my one sniper's down, and... I think I might be regretting this because all I got now... Yeah, I'm screwed. Unless that sniper's like pro. No, he's getting shot at already. Uh, wow, he's actually... He can take a few bullets, though. Are you just taking your time? That's the slowest sniper I've ever seen. 
All right, we got defeated. I want to try once more. We'll quickly get back to level two. All right, we're back at wave two. Now, I decided to try some Musketoons this time. These guys should be in offensive mode if I did it correctly. Also, you might be wondering what these are down here. Well, I don't actually really want to make a fort right now, but I did notice that physics are in this game, and if you can knock a block on a unit, it can definitely die by that block. So these are basically just extra booby traps because we had extra blocks to use anyways. So now, this should be good. We got a nice mixture of everything aside from the cannon. Uh, the cannon's mostly to take down castles and whatnot, so I'm not really gonna use that just yet. Oh, we got these guys on offensive as well. That's fine, they're behind blocks. I just want to see... Oh, God. It might kill my guys. Don't hit that. Oh, God! Oh, now he's dead. Great. Okay, so I don't know if that damaged him or if they did all the damage to them, but they should. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> it worked. Oh, I'm just so happy my trap worked. So now we know we can use that as a strategy when we get into the actual challenges. And as you can see, it's going a little bit better this time. So that's good. What... Uh, did they just, like, freeze? Are they scared? I'm assuming we hit some kind of glitch here, but, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. I need all the help I can get, so thanks, games. Games really like the break for me, and here comes the second wave. I'm not feeling too good about this. We got a lot of units we gotta kill with not too many units left. Hopefully these snipers can pull it out. That being said, my medic, as you can see, uh, totally safe here. Is he gonna be healing? He is healing them, as you can see. He doesn't do anything. He just kind of stands there. Come on, heal them up. We need to kill them. We're really close this time. This is a difficult mode, though. And that's kind of what I wanted. I just wanted to test out the units to see what I like and dislike. And I will say, I definitely like the medics. Don't know about these snipers, though. They are very, very expensive. We were so close, too. Come on. Ugh, man, they're just not quick enough at shooting. All right, so we're going to go back. Let's try some of the missions out, you know? I don't actually know how they work, so here we are. All right, so it... It's kind of like tabs. You get a certain amount of money and you just got to figure out how to do it. And that's the way I like to do it. So we got 800 to build. I'm not even going to build a base because I actually like using these as booby traps. Especially now that we can see exactly where they're going to come. I could really abuse this, to be totally honest. But this is just great. Maybe you're, you're expected to do this because of just how hard the uh, wave mode was. We'll quickly see how hard this one is, though. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to do a bunch of T-structures here. Or at least two of them. And then let's have a little bit of defense. So we'll just do this again. It seems to work quite well at blocking a lot of the shots. So I like the idea of that. Maybe throwing... No, I don't want to throw a cannon down because I don't want to knock those down too quickly to the point where they're pointless. Uh, I do want some things on a fence, though. So let's do the Musketoons. We're going to put them way in the back, though. I want them to come in kind of late. We'll do a couple of those guys. How much money do we got? We got lots of money to spend. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That's going to work out, though. All right, but the Musketoons do seem quite good, so we're going to do four of those. That might be a little too much. Well, too late. I don't I don't know how to delete them. So we can only do eight more units, so I'm hoping these T-blocks really, really work well because uh, I dwindled my troops quite badly. All right, well, let's play it up and see what happens. Oh, I forgot to put them on defensive, too. That's something I'm going to have to get used to. How are they shooting already? Are they shooting the block? Oh, they're smarter now. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Come on. Yes, knock it over. Oh, it's not being knocked over. How did it knock over last time? Oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. I only think it took out one, though. And that's not enough. Oh, God. My Musketoons are gone already. All right, that, that was a really bad strategy, clearly. All right, let her go. I'm hoping these cannons do a lot of damage because we are going to need that damage. They're not shooting it. Oh, they went right over it. Are you serious? This is like, oh, God. There we go. At least it shot a couple of them. This is much better than last time. Come on, shoot other cannon. Shoot! Yes! All right, we almost got them down. This is going to be close. This is going to be... Oh, don't shoot my team! Cannon! No! Seriously! Oh, my God. I, I hate that... Oh, just kill them all. Kill them all. This, is, this isn't going to go well. We were so close! All right, we're going back to Old Faithful, the medics, and the infantry. I just... I need more guns. I also put some T's down just to see if they'll work or not. Everything's in defensive this time. Didn't screw up that, at least. But they're shooting them down now. I'm wondering if they're shooting the units and then... Oh, yes. There we go. That's what I like to see. So it still works. For some reason, these guys shoot early on the right-hand side. I'm assuming they're a different unit or something. They look exactly the same, though. All right. This is going well. Medic seems to be medicking, which is obviously very important. What are these guys doing in the back? Oh, what? What is going on here? 
All right, something with the traps definitely screws them up. I'm not sure why, it's really weird, but uh, it's working this time as you can see. And we got the victory. So I tried a very simple strategy there. One medic, all infantry, and ooh, are we attacking now? Oh my God, look at these archers. Oh, I thought they were archers. They are clearly not archers. They got some sort of musket here and they are all spread out. And then we got snipers on the side, it looks like. Uh, so this is going to be pretty difficult. We got to attack them because they're not obviously going to come and attack us as we can see. I want to try something very simple for the start here. My strategy is distance. If I can beat out the snipers, I'm going to throw them on the sides for that reason. And then I should be able to just peg everyone off without even getting close. So we'll see if that's possible. I don't know how they auto aim. I was hoping it'd be the closest unit. It does look like there we go. Come on, hit him, hit him. We got three, we should be fine. And he's down. What the heck? What were you guys doing? Why do we got this side all good, but the other side isn't? All right, so it is technically three on one sniper though. As long as these guys don't get close enough to him before they need to shoot him, we might actually be okay. Is this strategy actually gonna work? It's looking good. <laughs> so yeah, snipers are really, really important if you are attacking it feels like because as long as you're out of range you're good and three on one we better win that one there we go it's as simple as that all right what do we got next oh that's cool i'm actually liking this because it kind of shows me how i can build better and actually have good sniper outposts like this uh so i'm thinking man we have a lot of units to deal with here i'm assuming these guys attack yes they do as you can see uh so we're gonna restart here and let's try and address that. I'm actually gonna go all the way to the back and we're gonna go on offensive and let's do some musketoons for these frontal guys. What are, what is uh, snipers good against? Strong against non-armored. So this is technically armored. So let's just try something. Let's go, let's go crazy guys. Let's just, let's just be a unit of musketoons and then we'll throw these guys in for good luck over here. That should actually, cannons would be really good here too. We'll try this out just to see if it works. I highly doubt it will. I'm not even gonna build anything. All right, there goes those guys getting picked off. Now, can these guys survive the sniper shots long enough? That's the big question. Ooh, come on, you guys need to be so close. Ridiculous, but that damage output once you're there, oh, it's beautiful. But yeah, I don't think, well, nope. We're definitely not surviving this. We just lost four in a second there. Oh, man, that sucks that you have to be so close to those guys because they are so good. All right, strength in numbers. So strategy number two, we got cannons on the side. I'm hoping it takes out those towers, but we also got snipers over there to dwindle any uh, units that may get by. And then we got infantry just spread out in the middle, hopefully taking the brute force of the sniper shots, which indeed they are. Oh, jeez, did that thing just break them? All right, the cannons seem to be doing well, actually. Come on, hit it, cannon, hit it. <laughs> oh my god, that shot was amazing. This cannon's still up here too. Oh, beautiful. That's what I like to see. Now, how are these cannons being controlled? That's what I want to know. My god, though, the cannons, if you use them right, they are absolutely amazing and they can tank those shots, as you can see. I'm pretty sure, well, it's actually, what's my, what's my cannon doing? What's my sniper doing? Was he just shooting? Oh, he's shooting the blocks. Okay, well, Worst case, I think we got this just due to the snipers. And yes, there goes all my infantry. Now we just gotta wait for the snipers to snipe their way over there, if they ever do. Okay, this one seems to be working. So the, the there is a small glitch in this game where sometimes units just stop. Like this cannon might be destroyed and it just didn't pop off its hinge. But I'm thinking it is still just fine. This sniper over here, he's not doing anything. The benefit being, I only need one sniper. It's just going to take a lot longer to take these guys out. Uh, Far because enough we away are... to not be shot back. So the sniper is really, really useful. At least get one of them when you're fighting, it feels like. What the hell are you shooting at now? Are you, are you, you're going to kill yourself. Oh, please don't do this. Is it broken? Is he reloading? I don't know. Yep, looks to be that it is indeed broken. And that's a huge bummer because I had the upper hand. I did that right. Uh, we did win it. I just have units that are not working. So let's retry this and see if we can get lucky. All right, going much better this time. Pull the snipers a little bit further back. The cannons are indeed working now. They actually took out the units. What is this cannon doing? Ah, this is, this is what's so frustrating about games like this is they have a mind of their own. You can only watch 
And this cannon, as you can see, uh, yeah, it's a little crazy. I don't know where it's going. Is it going for my uh, sniper? Don't take out my sniper. Well, that sniper's not even working, as you can see. My other sniper's working once again. The big question is, will it survive long enough this time and not break? Well, it looks like we won it this time. The sniper is indeed doing his sniping duties, but again, like this, this thing got stuck over here. My other one is running into the wall for some reason. This sniper is broken. I don't know if I'm just really unlucky with games, but this one is buggy. Very, very buggy and game-breakingly buggy, which is uh, obviously a slightly frustrating. But there we go. We got the victory. I'm gonna end it there because I think that was a good first look at wooden battles. Now, I will say uh, when it comes to bugs, I usually don't mind them, but if it's game-breaking bugs, uh, it's a little bit frustrating. So, yes, indeed, I don't suggest you play this game just yet. Uh, hopefully these bugs do get fixed and patched up in the very near future, and then I would say this is a pretty decent game. But until then, I honestly wouldn't recommend it. It's fun, but it's very frustrating when you do a perfect scenario and then just die due to a bug. So that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. This was, once again, Wooden Battles. Now, I might check it out again if these bugs get fixed, but until then, that's gonna be it for this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,